everyone. I hope you're all well. Today is Thursday the 2nd of March, I think. March already. And I just wanted to make a quick video today to let you know why there wasn't a crafting chat last night and why there's not going to be a proper vlog today. Here he comes. Noisy boy, Clyde. There's a deer taken to grazing on the hill behind the cabin and uh, Clyde knows it's there and he always goes and looks for it and barks at it. Anyway, the reason was my stupid body. Um, I've not been well again. My chronic fatigue has uh, been getting to me, but on top of that, the headache has been back with a vengeance. It's been back as bad as it was when I was in hospital last year. And it's just been so... I don't know the word... I really don't know the word. It's been frustrating, but I don't know. Anyway, on Monday, I felt a bit yucky. And then by tea time, my head was so sore that I had to go to bed. And then Tuesday morning, I got up and I thought, oh, it's not too bad just now. That's fine. So we went through to get a few things from Asda and we went to get dog food and things like that. But while I was out, oh, the headache came back with a vengeance. And it was that bad that we went to the Phoenix Retail Park and Jack said, do you want to have a look in Poundland or B&M or Home Bargains? And I was like, no. And they went, oh my God, you must be ill. Because <laughs> it's not like me to turn down going into those shops. And then when, I got, when we got back, I just went straight to my bed and stayed there. And then yesterday... I got up in the morning and thought, oh, it's not too bad. But then within an hour, I was in agony again. So I spent the whole day in bed yesterday. So basically what I'm saying is there was no video because I've been in bed. <laughs> and there won't be a proper vlog today because, for the same reason, basically, I have managed to have a shower this morning and I am feeling not too bad just now. I've got a headache, but it's just a normal headache. It's bearable. So I'm going to try to stay up as much as I can today. I might just go and lie down when it's time for my painkillers, lie down for half an hour, let them kick in and then get up again. Um, it's just the way I need to do it with my chronic fatigue. I can't say, oh, I'm better and just get up. I have to do it in phases. So hopefully I will be able to get up a lot more today and then be back to normal by the weekend, whatever normal is for me. Um, yeah, so that is where I've been. I'm okay. There's there's nothing wrong with me apart from my fatigue and my headache. And it's some it's things that I'm just learning to live with now. Um so thank you so much for all your kind messages. I did put a post on my community page on YouTube last night and on Instagram just saying that I'm not being well, so there's no crafting chat video. I've not done any crafting this week. And not only that, I've had a big delivery from Shein and I've not even been able to do anything with that. That's how bad I am. <laughs> anyway, so today I am going to have to do a couple of things in the kitchen because Jack treated us to a new toy and it's not a craft one this time. I will take you through and let you see. Look, a double drawer ninja. I have been wanting an air fryer for a while, but I wanted to save up and get a double drawer one because, like, with we've pretty much got four adults in the house. Well, there's Brooke as well, but she doesn't eat. Um, so just a single drawer wouldn't be enough. So I've decided I was going to wait until I saw a double one that I could afford. And then Jack saw this. I can't remember how much it was, but it was a good deal. So he thought, oh, stuff it. I'm just going to get it. It's going to save us money in the long run because it's a lot quicker than the oven. It's a lot more economical. And uh, our oven takes forever to heat up. So yay for that. I am going to have to look back at some of Lillian. And <coughs> there's him barking at that deer. Uh, look at him. Uh, I'm going to have to look back at some of Lillian and Donna and Duke's videos because they've made some brilliant things in the air fryer. So I need some inspiration. The only thing is, I don't know what I'm going to put you down. I don't know if I should get liners or not for it because a lot of people say you should. It's a lot easier for cleanup. But we've got a dishwasher and to me the liner sort of I don't know, does it not defeat the purpose? Because the whole point of an air fryer is that the air gets right round it all. And if it's sitting in a liner, it might not 
get cooked underneath. I don't know. Is it just me thinking? I can't even see it this time. Um, is it just me overthinking it? Quiet. No wonder I get a headache. <laughs> um, let me know. Do you recommend that I get liners for it or not? People who use air fryer all the time. Should I get liners? Because I know you can get like silicon things to put in it um, and it makes it easier to clean but having the dishwasher, do I need it? I don't know. Let me know in the comments below if you've got any idea but what I am going to have to do is I'm going to have to reorganise the kitchen because the coffee machine was sitting there but that's really the only place we can put the air fryer because of the size of it. So I've put the coffee machine over there I'm not very keen on the way it's sitting. I might try and fix that, but I have to keep the cat food there because it's the only place that Willa and Hugo can't reach. Um, so I think what I'm going to do is toaster and the slow cooker are going to go in this corner, which has become a bit of a junk corner since Christmas. Well, that's still all the junk that was there at Christmas and New Year. It's never been touched. So I'm going to have to rearrange all of that, I think, and um, see if I can get it looking a bit better. I'm going to try and do that just now and then I will come back to you. Brooke is away to school um, after being off on strike for the last two days. Well, she wasn't on strike. The teachers were on strike. So she went to school. She wasn't very happy. I've got a sore throat and a sore head. I don't care. You're going to school. <laughs> um, and she's got her horse riding today anyway, so that'll cheer her up I'm sure. Anyway I'm going to start trying to get this corner done and then I will come back to you. Right so I decided I've moved swapped the coffee machine and the kettle round a bit. I don't know if it makes that much difference but I think it's a bit better and over here it's all nice and clear now and I've got the slow cooker probably won't use it nearly as much now that we've got the ninja the toaster and Jack's smoothie maker. Mine's is in the cupboard because I'm not going to use it till summer. So that's looking a bit better, isn't it? We've got our ninja over there. Yay! Can't wait to start using it. Our coffee station there and everything else there. Yay! And after everything that I just said, I'm going to have to go and lie down. <laughs> I've done too much. You know what I'm like. I've been frustrated lying in bed knowing that things have been needing done. So <coughs> as soon as I think, oh, I'm feeling a bit better, I decide to do them and then think that was silly. So yeah, I'm going to go and lie down. I think what I'm going to do, I'm not going to turn this into an actual vlog because I probably, I definitely won't be doing much today. When I'm not in bed, I'll just be lying on the couch watching the telly probably. I'm not going to be able to do any crafting or anything like that. So what I will do though is the other night I was granted access to Brooke's room to let you all see how nice and clean and tidy it is now. So I'll pop that footage in for you just now. So Brooke has given me permission to show you her room now. It's all changed. Her bed used to go up and down that way and then the bookcase was here. And the drawers were there and the desk was there. Oh. What you doing, Willa Willa? There's a weighty blanket on her bed as well. And uh, yeah, there's her wee mini fridge that she got for Christmas. Have you got anything in it yet? No, you didn't get anything. You didn't ask for anything. You said, <laughs> you said um, yeah. tomorrow I'll ask you. So there's nothing in it, but we'll get something after. I'll get something on Tuesday. Just get okay. like, water there or something. All right, okay, so a drink type thing. Yeah. Drinks. And so, maybe a snacks. <laughs> there's her shelves that she got for Christmas as well. Nothing on them yet, but just waiting. Oh, and she's got herself a ukulele. Oh, really? <laughs> yeah, there's a train on it now. That's, and there's that's a Zana. Oh, oh. <laughs> there's a Zana. Hey, Zana, do. Hello, big girl. We saw another bearded dragon in uh, Jolly's today, didn't we? And it was oh, hard. It was hard to believe Dawn. that Zana used to be that size. Dawn. <laughs> Dawn. She's like, that's moving. I think that's food. Dawn. No. <laughs> no. I'm going to eat you. <laughs> there we go. There she is. Good girl. Yay. 
<laughs> she I've, done, I've done something right because she doesn't run away when I when I pet her. No, she doesn't. So I've done something. She right. loves you. Because remember what she was like when we first got her. Yeah, ah, but she was just a baby, and she was very strange. I've been eighteen and she runs over. When, she runs away and every talk someone talks to her. That's true. Hey, so yes. Anyway, this is Brooke's nice room, all nice and tidy, and I was going to say clean. That's all stains of like. Nail polish and, and stuff, necklace. and then she found her storm necklace that's got some of oh, uh, Stormy's ashes in it. What does it say on it? It says Storm, and then he's years of life, life because he's dead now. He's dead. And I then, hope so, or else he wouldn't fit in there. And then forever in my heart. No, who's that? You go, you never got to meet Stormy. No, there's a no, nope. did, and he's dead now as well. Maybe it's just a curse. <laughs> Watch out for Clyde and Molly. <laughs> oh, Hugo likes Brooke's bed too. Is it comfy up there? I don't think she'd be very happy if you use that as a chew toy though. You already has. Not that one. It's Croc. Monty! Oh, I, I thought he was a dinosaur yesterday, didn't Monty I? Monty the Crocodile. Monty the, the Crocodile. He's oh. out of FNAF. He's out of what? FNAF. For that, is he? Ah, that's how I recognise him. Hugo's like, yep, I could eat that. No, oh. <laughs> You're so cute. I thought it was silent crickets we got. How can I hear the crickets? They're never silent, Mum. <laughs> no. Uh, <laughs> good try, Hugo. Yeah, so I think Brooke's room looks a lot bigger like that, actually. I, I like it, and it was... She decided to do it herself. She was like, can I change things around? I'm like, if you want. And she did. The only thing she needed help with was the bookcase. And she did it all herself. And now that there is more room, she's had Zanna out running about her floor. And zanna has been loving it. So the next time I'm well enough and Zanna's doing that, I'll try to vlog it for you. Because it's so cute. This wee bearded dragon running about the bedroom. Anyway, um... Yes, I'm going to head off just now. I just wanted to put this little video up to let you know I'm still here. I'm okay. There's nothing major wrong. It's just me. And uh, hopefully I'll get a proper vlog done over the weekend. I'll put that up on Monday. And then when I'm well enough, I'll do a shopping haul of the Shein order that I got because there's some gorgeous stuff in there again. And uh, hopefully I'll get that up on Tuesday for you and then hopefully another craft and chat on Wednesday. I'm hoping to be back to normal from next week. Fingers crossed. If not, you know what it is. It's nothing major. Right, I'm going to head off. So thank you very much for watching. Thank you for sticking with me through this. And thanks for all your get well wishes and messages of support. I really appreciate it. Right, I'm going to head off and I'll see you in our next one. Thanks everyone. Bye.